Good morning to you and happy Tuesday. See, you made it through Monday with flying colors and now you're striding confidently into the week and that is what we help people to do at declutterthebrain.com. I am Kitty Andrews helping Gen Xers, baby boomers and even, even younger people but mostly Gen Xers and baby boomers to get rid of the mental clutter that has been plaguing them all their life which manifests as physical clutter you see, and that's what we try to do, get rid of all of those messages that have been um, hanging around, taking up space between, the, between those beautiful ears of, uh, of yours and yeah, just enjoying life and feeling calm and confident. So basically helping you declutter your, your space and your brain. And uh, this week we are talking about the 12 days of clutter-free Christmas. Yes, Christmas can really add some clutter to your brain. If you'd like to know what we covered last week in this series, just uh, look back to yesterday's video and I gave a quick synopsis there. We only have, we can only do so much in a six minute video. Today, uh, yesterday we talked about kitchen is under control. Okay, so what do I mean by that? I mean, wipe down the inside of your fridge. Uh, just give it, a, give it a quick wipe. If you have time, you can go the whole nine years, but you know what, don't go down that rabbit hole. Don't do that to yourself because a good clean can take you at least an hour to an hour and a half. I had once spent three hours cleaning um, a, a fridge on a move out clean. <laughs> and that was using a steamer. Um, all right. So yeah, it was nasty. Okay. So give your fridge a quick wipe because it's really going to cheer you up. And that's what we do here at Declutter the Brain is we cheer you up with, we'll, yeah, we we'll make you feel good. Um, and declutter those countertops. If you're not using the blender, then it, on a daily basis, then just just stow it somewhere. Put it and put it and put it away somewhere. Whoa, forget it if I don't see it. I know, I know, I know. No, you won't forget it. Okay. Um, so yeah, and give and give your countertops a wipe. After you've decluttered them, you will feel much better about your holiday cooking. Uh, and if you're not doing any cooking, you'll still feel better anyway. Sound good? Okay. Uh, today we are talking about grocery grab. Yes, uh, this is, this being the seventh day of clutter-free Christmas. Yes, grocery grab. Uh, now that your fridge is clean uh, and or cleaned out, oh yeah, get rid of the science projects. I forgot to mention that yesterday. Any science projects, and we all have them. Don't cut yourself down because you have them. Uh, we all do. <laughs> so, <laughs> except me, I don't have it. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, well, frankly, I eat everything <laughs> before there's any time, and I'm still vastly underweight. Uh, to, now that you've cleaned everything out, today is the day to do the the final grocery shopping. Please don't be that person at 5.55 on December 24th trying to get your groceries. Don't do that to yourself. There won't be any stuffed and stovetop stuffing. There, you won't find anything. So do it today, this being Tuesday the 19th. Um, for your perishable items, especially, hopefully you uh, took the hint about getting your dry goods last week, but you can do it all today. Now, try to, for your stress level, try to avoid peak shopping hours, and they're going to vary where you are. Here you would think it would be, in the city, you would think it would be right out, uh, between 5 and 7 p.m. Stores are freaking empty here then and then people go out after i i don't understand it's a maritimes thing i i guess i i don't know but anyway uh you will know when the peak shopping hours are and avoid them when they do, do what you can to avoid them save your stress level all right um make a list remember i said last week make lists make a list and take it with you Please don't be like, God bless him, my father, who, um, well, yeah, I made a great list and it's sitting on the kitchen counter. I suggest put it on your phone. And he's, he never would do that. He relied on that piece of paper. <laughs> okay, anyway, this, is, this will save you time and money because you won't have to go back to the store to get the thing that you forgot. And you can watch for things on sale. 
why not save a couple bucks while you're doing this? Hmm? All right, uh, we're gonna wrap it up a little early today. Stop cheering. I heard you cheer. Yes, stop. <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna talk about earlier makes it easier. Yep. Uh, until then, have a terrific day. Oh, uh, don't forget to uh, scroll down below. If you haven't done so already, download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. And while you're there, go ahead, book that uh, no cost, quick call with me so that we can work together to get rid of that mental clutter that is causing the physical clutter around you. Take care. Bye for now.